Hi folks, welcome back to our Sprinter Van build and this week we're going to look at building the kitchen. If you're new here, I'm Aidy, single dad to my twins, John and Ella. We're home educating and living life our way. Years ago, I worked as an underwater cameraman in Thailand where I met their mom. We tragically lost her at the birth in Bangkok, but our journey wasn't about to stop there. We're now converting our big van, a Mercedes Sprinter, getting ready for new adventures across Europe and beyond. Join us as we build, explore, and live our lives to the full. I've been putting off building the kitchen for a little while. I think I've been procrastinating ever so slightly because even though I was a kitchen fitter, I wasn't so much a bespoke kitchen builder before. So I've been mulling it over. I always overthink things in my head and then make it such a big deal that I just don't ever start. As it is, we've bought Oh, sorry, John. <laughs> Pop, yeah, sorry. I bought some really small, square, planed stud wood. We've got some 12 mil ply for building some panels. I didn't want to go too thick with the ply because we are not using the mega expensive 15 mil lightweight plywood that a lot of people use for camper vans, which we're talking, I think it's about 150, 160 quid per sheet. No way. I'm using standard ply but thinner. So we're using 12 mil and I'll get away with it. And that's more like 20 quid a sheet. So with that said, are we ready to get on with things? Oh, and John's going to do a bit of varnishing today. So thank you for the, in the comments, a couple of people have mentioned we should have done some varnishing over the stain around the toilet. You are correct. So that's his, that's his job for today, isn't it? Yep. Good. Yeah. All right, let's get on with this. <laughs> So after what I just said about procrastinating, I think I'm procrastinating again. I was thinking, right, we need to get this stuff out of here and get it into the garage over there. Um, but I need to clear some space in the garage. <laughs> and we've just, we've just emptied the place completely. Um, I want my workshop back here, so we're trying to clear it. It's just, as you can see, wood, wood everywhere. John and I have just spent ages organising a wood pile, different sized plywood, all categorized now. This is scrap. He's building a fire. We're going to chop it up and get a load of it burnt and out of the way. There's another pile of plywood behind there. Sally, if you're watching, there's a lot of plywood coming your way when this build's finished. Now, I've course, got my fridge, which is for the kitchen. That's the thing we're building. And my oven. So I'm going to need these things out anyway in order to build this kitchen. Why do I keep forgetting the word kitchen? Don't know. Anyway, we're getting somewhere near. I'll pick up with you when I'm ready to start actually planning and building. Yeah, how about that? Let's do that. You know, I said I was going to start the kitchen, but I keep getting sidetracked and procrastinating. Well, this isn't so much procrastination. This is just something I didn't even really think. And once I put my mind onto it, I realised I've made a mistake. Well, not a mistake, it's nothing that needs correcting, but I need to do something else first. Obviously here, where the blue tape is, and then up to the front of there, that is the kitchen. Da -da 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 -da, right to there. What's going to be in the kitchen? A fridge, no problem. Wires for the fridge. There's going to be the oven, this old oven I got, for all those who've never seen it before, I bought that for 20 quid. <laughs> because... As you know, the money thing is a money thing. And we don't I don't intend on using an oven all the time, but I just kind of wanted it there. I used to like to bake bread and actually do a bit of baking, like cakes and stuff like that, years ago. And I might want to bring that back. Having the oven there is an option. It can always be used to store pans and things like that in it when we're not using it. So anyway, blah, blah, blah. We've got an oven. It's an old banger, but it's going in. And the hob will be on top. What are these things going to need? The gas connection, because it's all running off gas. So where are the gas pipes? Not there. I need to install these gas pipes before I start building structure on top of here. So that's going to have to go in, which also means going under the van and putting a pipe to the regulator that's been under there waiting for this for quite some time now. And I also have to cut out a drop hole donor event. I've got that little uh, drop out thing there. So I'm going to have to get that fixed in looks like we're doing gas before i do kitchen i might not film a huge amount of it i'm certainly not filming the bit under the van you know what it's like under there if you guys watch me installing the tank anyone who's not seen it go back and watch the tank installation oh i don't like being under a van i do not like being under a van 
But we can have a look at the manifold stuff that happens on here. But first of all, I am going to sit, get a cup of tea, scratch my head and plan this kitchen out. We're going to get something done today. It's past lunchtime now after doing that clear out. It needed to be done. I just started talking to the camera and it was still in time-lapse mode so that'll be no good what I was saying was that's taken me ages to figure out where I might want to be for this dropout and this is also where the external gas pipe is going to come up and through into the van it's got to be spot on because uh, I've got to fit it all underneath the oven housing sort of area is my plan and that manifold you saw me faffing around with this gorgeous little gadget what I want is them to be accessible from the front. I want to be able to like pull a little panel off because when you go on things like um, the channel tunnel, stuff like that, they like you to be able to turn your gas off. So I'm going to be able to just pop a little panel off, stick my hand in and flick off at this tap here would be the good thing to do. I'm about to have a look underneath because uh, I just drilled it. I was showing you, but it was in time lapse. So forget about that. The drill is there. Let's see how we're looking under here. Yo! Oh, it's there, right behind my magnet. So it's not far from where I was aiming. So that's perfect. I can bore out a big hole now. This is when I realised that this kitchen fitting, building, it's not going to happen in one video, is it? Because you're going to be watching me do some pipes for a little bit. Then we'll start looking at building bits of kitchen. down there so what I've managed to do that I didn't show you because I wasn't going to film under the van like I said I've managed to get this bit of piping uh, attached to the, the regulator which is over there underneath it comes along it pops up through the vent here I have just made a cut on the oh, the PVC that covers it there and now we're through to the copper pipe I've next got to fit on this stop valve then the manifold, and then we're gonna take a line up for the hob oven, gas barbecue, for the boiler. I'm not gonna put that in yet because that's gonna go right across the floor here and get in everyone's way. Obviously get tripped on, obviously get broken. We don't want that. I'm gonna put some music on and I'm just gonna tinker along with this. Enjoy. <laughs> Right, I've just realised I don't have any gas PTFE tape. I'm going to have to go to screw fix, aren't I? Damn. Back in a bit. <laughs> Hello again down there. Yes, I'm back from screw fix and it's now dark. We're operating by torchlight. And uh, I'm going to get this on and that'll be it for today. You know, I woke up this morning thinking, wow, I'm going to have the base structure of a kitchen done today. Isn't that exciting? I've got a little pipe coming out the floor. Wonderful. All right. You can watch while I do this. Okay, so... I am waiting for an Amazon delivery that was meant to arrive today, and it's late and dark now because I ordered a pipe bender for this. Now you can bend this stuff without a pipe bender, but I'd rather be safe. Been an ex-plumber, 
I like to have a pipe bender. If it arrives, I might just do a little bit more, but it's too dark to film, I think. I think what might happen here is I might sign off for today, and then you might just see these bits of pipe in tomorrow, possibly, depending on weather. And then um, I'm going to start getting on the kitchen, like I promised I would this morning. Good morning, folks. My pipe bender did arrive in the end, and I stayed up into the night doing it in the dark on my own. Would you like to see it? Because I'm very, very proud. Look at these beautiful pipes. So, as you well know from what I was filming last night, the external pipe that comes from the gas tank uh, from the regulator is coming up through there. It's going to this main cutoff switch, which I intend to have some sort of easy access either through the kickboard or you can open this cupboard and there'll be a hatch to access all this. I'll probably have that and maybe that as well. I'll certainly have that. Um, so I can knock that off when we go on the on the channel tunnel or whatever and then I can also individually isolate ugh, which way does that go Individu individually isolate these ones so that one runs off to my oven that goes to the hob and this one runs off all the way down and around the back there to my barbecue point my external barbecue point that's through there do you know what this means I'm going to set up workshop now I'm going to start getting some wood out and I'm going to start making things I'm quite tempted I don't know what people's opinions would be. I'm quite tempted to build like a base section here fixed and then I might build the topper section above the kick plate over there in my workshop because the bad weather is coming at some point even though it's glorious today. Freezing but glorious. Um, and then I can just sit that on top potentially because I've also got wiring I need to do in here. I'm going to bring the lights through and up and in there. I'm also going to bring some ducting through for the uh, for vents for the heater. So that's all going to be running underneath and in here and it'd be a lot easier to do it if I just built like a framework there and then added all those bits in that I'm going to add in and then just plonk the kitchen on top of it. What do you all think? I mean by the time you see this and you give me your opinions I'll already be well underway but what do you think to that idea? I've said it before, it's tricky because there's no set way of doing this on a, on a van. There's just lots of different people's ideas and um, suggestions and you just go with what you feel. And I feel like that might be good because I could just build that entire system, all my heating, all my electrics, all my gas pipes. It's all just there and then the kitchen just goes plonk on top of it. I'm repeating myself. I'm going to stop repeating myself and I'm going to get the workshop set up. Let's do this, let's make a kitchen. Right, so what we've got there is this bottom frame in now. I've brought this wire up. This little light is going to poke out through here onto the side. And then I'm going to have boiler vents coming out. So that's going to determine the height of this kickstand, I think, really. I don't want it to be too, to be too high because I'll lose storage space. So what I might have to do is cut a bit of this out. 
and possibly on the opposing face as well just to keep this kickstand as low as I can because I need I don't want to lose storage it just has to be wide enough to allow these pipes to run through it that's it so I'm going to do that Righty-o, I'm not getting much past that. I've got to go for a haircut now, long overdue, um, but it looks like potentially rain. So I daren't leave my tools out. I'd normally leave all my tools out because Ella's inside, but I can't risk it in case it rains. So I've packed up and I'll hopefully get things out again later. See you in a bit. Okay, as you can see, I didn't get back to you later because it's now the next day later. I um, got back, I had friends visiting, it became a really busy day, bitty bitty here and there, so I did stick <clears throat> another layer on here, as you can see I've used 18 mil ply, that got me the height I wanted in order to get that vent hole just right, because I've got to fit that in there, which then fixes onto the, uh, the pipe, and then this screws in on the other side of what will be a plywood front on there. I have also made, oops, excuse me, I've also made a hole over there because that's where the vent will be going out. And uh, yeah, yeah, I am at a point now where I think I'm going to cut a piece of plywood, nice thin piece to go on the front of there, and then I will make the hole in it for that. And I need to make the hole in it because I'm going to have two of these little sort of footlights, spotlight things sticking out the sides down there. I've just dropped Ella off at her art group friend's house and I'm probably going to get a cup of tea and I'm going to sit here and scratch my head a little bit. We're going to get John set up on doing something. John's going to get on with the varnish on here at some point. It's probably not practical when I'm working here but we've also still got to get some insulation in that real rear pillar there. Now hopefully we've got enough odds and sods and scraps kicking around to do that. So that's the sort of thing he'll be on with. Yeah I think that's enough of that. I will talk to you when I'm ready to start building this unit. That's quite exciting, isn't it? So we just took a little drive to screw fix to go and get some insulation for that back pillar we were talking about. And I had a thought on the way there that has screwed up all my plans for the day. You see this lovely big door here? It needs panelling on the back, doesn't it? Similar to on the other side over there. I'm not going to be able to do that if there is a kitchen here, am I? So I'm gonna to have to do that before I can do this kitchen. If anyone out there had noticed this little oversight uh, before me mentioning it, do tell me down in the comments. And if you didn't notice it, why not? I can't believe it. Every time I try to make a start on this kitchen, something happens. I either procrastinate myself a little bit or something happens. There's always something comes along and stops me. I even got a little bit of a start done yesterday and now once again I'm stopped. I'll tell you what's going to happen here guys. It's nice weather and this is hurting my brain a little bit. I think what I'm going to do is just get it done. You've seen me work on panelling on the other side. I'm just going to work on this today, get it done. I might make it match the other side a little bit with some so it looks like wall panels. I don't know. I'm going to make it up now. I'm going to get it done and I'm probably not going to see you till tomorrow and the job is done and then we can get back on with this kitchen project, okay? I'm sorry you might want to see how this is done, but you know the score. I need to finish this fan. I need to go. Filming stuff takes twice as long, so I'm just going to do it. So I will see you in a second. And in that second, I have managed to achieve this. So what has happened here is I have carpeted all the metal area it's very dark in here and i was painting that into the night last night that is a panel i've made to go on there let's see if we can balance it in place ish without hurting it so yeah that's going to be kind of like that obviously up a bit covering that stuff and that then matches this side i would like some opinions please opinions please my plan is to build this kitchen up 
God knows what the doors are going to be right now. They could be black, they could be stained, maybe. I was thinking this side panel here, which is very noticeable when you walk into the van, I was thinking of doing it the same as that to look like the paneling so it ties it all in. Maybe even round the front there so when the doors open, I was thinking the same thing. Opinions please down in the comments because I'm not getting to that for this video anyway, that's for sure. It's basically either going to be stained ply like this or it's going to be this salmon with the ribs which I do like. I must admit I really like it now. Um, it's kind of the way I'm steering but I want opinions. Then also this little strip of wood that's going to go up there again salmon or stained down in the comments down in the comments because that wood I've got when you stain it it comes up like this and it's really quite nice to be honest and it just might break up the colour because there's a lot of that salmon in the front even though it is very lovely um, and like we know that's the most yellow we're going to see because the cupboards coming here will cover that bit and then there'll be cupboard doors and the sides it's very dark I mean can I open this oh no I can't open that just now this uh, on the Ikea doors we bought very much matches this it's a bit it's a bit darker than this is but it doesn't matter it's fine so anyway yeah I want some opinions please on this and uh, I'm going to put that panel on I will show you it and then it is time <laughs> he says to get on with the kitchen. Yay! As usual, it is days later. Uh, we've been over the weekend and we haven't really done any work on the van. This, however, is all done. And I did that little that piece up there. So I went with stained up there to sort of match that door and the bathroom. And then as you know, that's got what I just talked about a minute ago. I did cut a base for the kitchen. Turns out, I don't think it's the right size. We're going to approach that. Under there. That is my heating duct now. I've got some clips coming for that to tie it down. I need to cut it off at that end because it's going to have another outlet there. So it'll cut off there and get it neat and tidied up. You've seen the gas. The little lights are all wired in, uh, apart from this one because it's waiting for an end panel, of course. What I'm going to do is just get you guys clipped on somewhere. We're going to start measuring, thinking, looking at uh, this. I might have to build exactly the same one using this as a template and uh, just make it a bit wider. It just needed to be a bit deeper for the fridge. You've got to think about so many things. And then when I tested that and sat the fridge on it, I'm like, oh, the fridge sticks out a bit. But uh, yeah, we're going to build another one. And <laughs> all right, I said I wasn't going to waffle, but I'm going to waffle a tiny weeny bit. This kitchen has been the bane of my life. I can't wait for it to be built. On my schedule, it should have been done two weeks ago, but then something happened. Oh, that was it. The door thing happened, so we did that. Oh yeah, having to do the copper pipes, that was it, because I forgot I'd had to do them first. And then the weather came, and then one thing after another, after another, and it just doesn't seem to get started properly ever. And then it builds it up to be this big thing in your head, and it becomes more in my mind than it actually is. It's just a few simple bits of plywood I'm going to screw together. It really is. And once I get going, I'll be fine. I know I will, but it's just become this massive thing in my head that's like this Everest I've got to conquer. <laughs> this week, I'm going to get a good start on it before the end of this video. That's enough talking. Okay, so you saw me just cutting this. What you didn't see, however, 
is this wood I've put on the back of here, which is going to give us, let me just get this lined up. So as you can see, we've got a nice little access. I didn't need one there, but I might regret it if I didn't do one. This one allows me to get to the wiring here and the back of the heating duct. And this one, obviously, to switch the gas off and on. And then we've got these little bits that pop in like that. I'm happy with that. That's one of them daft little things that I would have regretted not doing, okay? It slowed me down, but so be it. So now what will happen is this cupboard here is going to have the oven in it somewhere um, but obviously it's going to have to have like a drawer or a cupboard at the bottom I don't know what it will be either way it'll be something we can either open a door slide a drawer out open that turn the gas off easy enough pop it back in hopefully a drawer makes sense because I can just lift it out because if it's a cupboard it'll have loads of stuff in it so that would be the most sensible right now I'm going to look at building the panels on the side of here. Yep, yeah. right, I'm gonna go and measure and cut that piece. This is exciting for me. This is when we start to look at building structure. Now then. I think it's going to need scribing a little bit, but not much. I just need to scribe a bit out the top there. Wow, not much at all. And then I can use this one as a bit of a template for the next one, which will be here. And the fridge is going in there up high. Oh my gosh, I'm suddenly really excited. <laughs> After all the time waiting to get started with this blooming kitchen, I could very quickly cut out a few of these, pocket hole them, screw them in, and start building the, the structure for the top. Oh my gosh. Oh, wonderful. Right, I'll quickly cut that. I'll be back in a second. And if it fits, we'll use it as a template and I can make a couple of them. Perfect. So what I will do is we'll have a batten across there. I'm also going to need a batten at the top there and at the top here. So, my all right, so that should also fit there, which it does. So I'm going to make another one of these. And just like that, it starts to take shape. Mega happy. So then I think the plan was to try and construct this out there. Awesome. Right, got myself a workbench. Right, so I very quickly put some pocket holes in these because that's the way we're going to fix most of this kitchen together. Um, it's not something I used to use really. Uh, in joinery, but I bought myself a nice pocket hole jig and I must admit I really like it. camera as usual it stops itself after a while um, so you missed a bit there I've put a bracket across the back of there I have also created a shelf that the fridge is going to sit on 
things are a bit wonky here on this table, so I'm not going to fit it in here. I'm going to actually put it in the van, glue and screw this shelf, and then I want to sit the fridge on top and see if, see if it all fits. And that will be as far as we get today, but it's quite exciting. So uh, I'll see you in the van. Right, oh, there's a bit of wood there, hang on. It should go, yep, to me a bit. That's candy, isn't it? Let's see if this fridge fits, shall we? Uh -huh. yeah, sorry, I've managed. Oh, fuck. Okay. Let me bring you closer. Sorry, I forgot about you guys. So there we go. That is pretty much where the fridge will be. But I've just got to swap the door around so it opens this way, which is a quick job. Right, one last quick look before we go pack up for the night. Here we go. Now it opens there. That's a perfect little height, isn't it? That's really quite nice. You just bend down ever so slightly because I see a lot of people have them right down at floor level. And that's not as good. Nice. Good, huh? I'll see you tomorrow. John's got a gaming club tomorrow, but I'll be here in the morning. And there goes John off to his gaming club uh, in a very noisy car. <laughs> so I'm on my own. I've got a plan of action. I've got energy today. The weather's going to hold, I think, until this evening, so we're good. This is where we left you last night. The only thing I did add was this little uh, clippy handle thing, which locks it in place, which is nice. What I now need to do is figure out the size of the oven. I need to get this panel here made. Uh, this one's going to be a faffy one because I do believe it's going to interact with this bit. So I will make it while this is in here. Then once it's made, we will go and set up over there. I'm basically just going to crack on with some work today, but I will keep the camera switched on. I just might not waffle quite as much as I usually do, but we'll see. It depends if I get in the mood for talking to you, doesn't it? I've had some thoughts that I should have done. I'm going to be putting, um, what's it, some structure across the top of this all the way right through to the end and across the back somewhere. I should have cut into these before I assembled it. That's all right, I can get them with a multi-tool, it'll be fine. The next panels, however, I will cut them out. I will pocket hole them and prepare them. I didn't really plan ahead. I was making it up as I go along. Hmm, where have we heard that before? Anyway, what I will do is I will just crack on, stick you on a tripod, put you some music on, and let's see what we can get done today. Let's get some progress. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> That's the kids saying bye bye. Ella's off to her art group. John takes her on the bike. It's very convenient. It means I don't have to dismantle the van in order to drive her somewhere. And with them saying bye bye, I'm also going to do the same for this video, but not before I show you where we've got to and what is coming up next week because it's going to be quite an exciting week. Take a look at this. So, first of all, 
obviously this is the oven in place that's where that's going to live oh can't do that with one hand very easily i'm going to try and get it's a very small gap but i'm going to try and get a really teeny cutlery drawer in there and then we've got two deeper drawers underneath which then access the uh, cubby hole for the gas of course you've seen the fridge working already before that's nothing new to you but what is going to be coming next week first of all i've got some drawer sliders there so i'm going to be constructing some drawers now in order to fit this thing in let me just open this door in order to pop this unit in the van and fix it in place i'm going to have to put this wall across here first because the way i've done this i've left a gap down there for that wall same on this side there's a gap for the wall there's no way in hell i would be able to fit that wall after the kitchen unit's in so that is have to, gonna have to go in quite soon which is pretty crazy and pretty big step because what that means is i will have to bring my gas pipe through for the boiler which comes across here i've already got that duct in there which is going to vent there and then come back around to the boiler i'm going to have to put my hot and cold water pipes through the back of there uh, and bring them up under where the sink's going to be bring them back over here to the boiler and the water tank but once that wall is in i can start connecting up all these pipes and things around to here and actually look at pretty much we're onto a water tank and electrics type area which is very exciting but I also have to finish the kitchen of course there's lots to do there's drawers to build I haven't got a clue how that unit's going to work or what it's going to be so there you go next week is going to be very exciting and there's going to be big changes happening in the van so do come and join us otherwise thank you so much for watching this video do hit the like, do hit the subscribe if you haven't already. It's all free. That would be wonderful. And I will see you next week. Take it easy. Bye-bye. No.